his shoulders vaguely resembling Sarah Palin. And the bell rang, and Miss Gray jumped up. Don't you dare move, she shouted. All of you can call her shout. It was super big. <laughs> you need to remember that the first bell is a warning for me to wrap up my lesson, she finished, and gestured us out of the room. I grabbed my silver and orange bag off the floor of the classroom and shoved my binder and textbook in it, then hoisted it up onto my shoulders. I was about to leave the class and go to homeroom when Harper, this really times a hundred times a hundred annoying kid, looked at me all giddy and happy. I walked out of the classroom and he put his arm around my shoulder. And he continued walking. Good old buddy, don't go around making yourself a the door. He laughed and pulled my book bag so it sat on one of my shoulders instead of both. Then he grabbed my cheeks and squeezed them really tight, so hard that my blue braces were shut. I could feel my heart pounding in my cheeks as he walked away. I stood still for a couple seconds and watched him and his cronies laughing amongst themselves, looking back every 20 seconds to check on me. I kept walking after that. Our school either has the most oblivious teachers or the most oblivious teachers. Because <laughs> something like that should be seen, especially during passing. I walk into my home. The smell of Febreze and desk cleaner filled my head and made me cough. I think I'm allergic to that air freshener, honestly. I went to my locker to get my sweater. Our lockers are in our homerooms. I mean, how lame is that? Inside my locker, there were some fading stickers from previous owners, and graffiti and silver sharpie that read, if you have this locker, you will have a great year. Well, if you consider homework overload, bad teachers, mean annoying kids, good? Well, great. Your life will be very easy. It took a really long time for everyone to get their books. I usually finish first because I have this really great method where I only keep my sweater in my locker and all my books in my bag so that I never have to forget anything, and I only have to get my sweater from my locker. My dad says I'll get scoliosis, but I think my back is strong. I started walking home after we were dismissed, and thought about my life for a minute. Not a lot of kids my age think about their lives on the walk home. I go to a bad school. That's the first thing I thought. The second thing is my neighborhood. A good example is there are more shrink wrap mattresses on the street than used Christmas trees after the holiday season. Worst of all, it's my family, which is completely ruined. My mom died of stomach cancer when I was six. That pretty much destroyed me off the spot. Then, two years later, my, my dad...